Is Stephen Kanozo Musyoka prepared to face William Ruto in 2027? And can Stephen Kanozo Musyoka succeed where Raila Odinga failed? Because you all know that in 2027, as Kenyans were heading to the polls, majority of Kenyans had concluded that Raila Odinga was going to have an easy ride to the presidency. Because Raila Odinga had the support of Kenyans, Raila Odinga had what he had always lacked, the support of the deep state, and Raila Odinga for the first time was looking at the prospects of getting votes from the mountain, which indeed he got. But as fate would have it, William Ruto still, using other orthodox means, managed to outweigh Raila Amolo Odinga as an outsider. Currently, William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Can Stephen Kalozo Musyoka defeat him? Is he prepared? That's exactly what I want us to find out in this video. Whether Kalozo is prepared to face William Ruto in 2027. So, so, sasa hapa niko na ndugu yangu rena rafiki yetu ye ndio buru amealika ye siku ya leo kama mgeni maalumu huyu jamaa tumetembea naye pamoja tulikuwa naye pamoja kutoka wakati ile ya kanu alikuwa kanu huko tukaenda naye tukaunda chama pamoja na yeye inaitwa inaitwa uh, LDP tukaingia na pamoja kwa NAC tukaenda naye pamoja kwa ODM tumesimama naye pamoja mara mbili tumesimama naye pamoja tukipigana na tujashindwa kila mara kwa mara tumekuwa tunanyang'anywa tu e, amesimama na mizizi kidete hata mara hii ya mwisho hakuchagaliwa kama kama mgombe mwenza na yangu lakini alibaki na sisi alibaki na sisi jamaa ana moyo jamaa ana ukakamavu jamaa ni mtu ambaye unaweza kumwamini yeye ni mtu mwaminifu now for us to get answer to that let me first of all just take a walk through Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's facebook page which is verified According to this Facebook page, Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka has 378,000 followers on Facebook. The Facebook page was last updated four days ago. Remember today is a Saturday. Again, it was updated five days ago, six days ago when he was with Azimio in um, Kajiado. That is Facebook page. One of the serious communications channels we have currently in the world. In my view, Kaluzo Musyoka must hire someone to manage his page if he wants to be taken seriously by people like myself. I don't expect a presidential candidate to have less than 1 million followers. Followers are normally gained through interactions. Kalonzo Musyoka must have someone managing his Facebook page and he should be able to communicate through that Facebook page. If you compare Kalonzo Musyoka's page to Raila Odinga's page, for example, you realize that uh, Raila Odinga was, is currently in India, maybe on medication grounds, but he posted. So, his supporters know that Raila Odinga is actually in, in, um, in India. If you go to Sonko's page, he keeps us busy. Even yesterday, you saw Sonko going to some other place with a convoy to buy alcohol for Uru Kenyatta, which for me, I doubt whether Uru Kenyatta actually accepted the, the alcohol from <laughs> The, the expensive whiskey from Mike Sonko. But the truth is, 
from that alone there is a problem if you go to twitter let me just go to briefly it's long since i visited kalonzo musyoka's twitter handle if you go to kalonzo musyoka's twitter handle let me just get if you go to kalonzo musyoka twitter handle which is also verified the good news he has 1.5 million followers that is good news that's exactly what i expect to find on facebook that's what i expect to find on facebook so kalonzo musyoka must do something about his facebook because there's there, there, there's a difference between facebook twitter the kind of audience they target he must do something about facebook i'm also i also want to advise him to explore tiktok so he must get someone who is good in social media to manage i doubt if kalonzo can fail to hire someone if he wants to be a presidential candidate pay say 100000 to manage there are young guys who can easily manage this so from that alone i think kalonzo has a lot to do but is steven kalonzo musyoka prepared to face william samoy araputo that's exactly what i want us to figure out in this video before we do that for those who are watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you and i know there are several other individuals who normally watch these videos but they are not yet subscribed i know you've watched it twice th three times severally but if you check subscribe there you are not yet subscribed please just take a second i'm waiting for you press that subscribe now and to the subscribers i want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support this channel cannot be where it is ladies and gentlemen without any further ado allow me to dive in but before i dive in allow me also to thank the following people you are seeing their names on the screen there for the coffee which they sent to me earlier today i'm so grateful because it goes a long way in supporting the channel that's one way you can support the channel a cup of coffee <coughs> like this one is now tea goes for only 200 bob but you can do more i know you can always do that today is also saturday ladies and gentlemen let us dive in is steven kalonzo musyoka prepared to face ruto can he defeat ruto I've always opined on this platform that William Ruto is one of the easiest presidents to defeat in an election because he entered into the presidency with high expectations his supporters were expecting too much and the moment he took over he's really disappointed them everybody is now angry with Ruto I'm 100% sure even those who are still supporting roto the die hards deep down they know the man is not doing well i know you know that so it's easy to defeat roto but it's also not easy to defeat roto when he's the president of the republic of kenya is kalonzo musyoka prepared let us try and answer that question let us begin by looking at um, the grassroots networks because there is no way you can become the president of the republic of kenya without creating proper grassroots support across the country there is no way i doubt what about as a political party has that network because i'm not sure whether there's the presence of wiper for example in kisumu here where i stay in manyakacha i know there are so several supporters but i'm not sure whether they are they have structures basically i've never seen a wiper office in kisumu that's the honest truth but i know one or two guys who are wiper members but i've never seen their office so which means for kalonzo musyoka to succeed he must have a proper network if you look at the way odm is structured odm is structured in a way that it begins from the polling station 20 elected leaders from the polling stations then they go are they normally 20 or more then they go i think they are 20 then they go from 20 from uh from the grassroots i mean from the polling stations then they go to ward constituency county and national i expect wiper to do the same but wiper is yet to do that if you study william ruto if you studied william ruto sorry if you studied william ruto's strategy when he was in odm party by the time william ruto was living 
He had already created a network. And that's why when he left, he left with people like Eden Dwale, you know, that group across several people across the country. When William Ruto was the deputy president in the first term after the 2013 election, William Ruto knew that he was going to run for the presidency after Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. And he knew so well that for him to succeed, he needed the networks. So what did William Ruto do in 2017? As Jubilee was going for the elections, William Ruto ensured that his people were the ones who were elected to, Syria, to various positions, elected positions in Mount Kenya. That's, what, that's how people like Kabogo were edged out. That's how William Ruto managed to bring his people. And then that's why after the elections, most of those people's allegiance were not to President Uru Kenyatta, but were to William Samuel Arab Ruto. And that's how he was now able to penetrate Mount Kenya because he had already created his own networks in Mount Kenya. I don't want to assume that Stephen Kanozo Musioka is trying to bank on the networks of ODM party. ODM structures will always remain ODM structures because they can give it to him, they can deny him. Assuming Rayo Dinga were to say, I'm not supporting Kalonzo, I'm supporting someone else. Very, very important. On that, let me know from you. Do you think Stephen Kalonzo Musioka has created enough networks? For me, no. I'll give him three or four out of ten. Let us look at the second thing, which is visibility. <laughs> Stephen Kalonzo Musioka does not need introduction in the Republic of Kenya. That's the fact. He's a long-serving, he served as a minister, foreign affairs, vice president. Kalonzo Musioka was Raila Odinga's running mate in 2013, Raila Odinga running mate in 2017, which means if Raila Odinga was visible, if Raila Odinga had billboards, if Raila Odinga had ban banners, Kalonzo Musioka, as his running mate, was all over. So Kalonzo Musioka doesn't really need introduction, especially on uh, to Raila Odinga supporters. But despite that, there is the shadow of Raila Odinga lingering over Kalonzo Musioka. So which means for Kalonzo Musioka to succeed, he must be visible <clears throat> as Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. Very, very important. And that's why I expect that when Rayleigh Odinga is out of the country, like Rayleigh Odinga is not in the country today, for four days now, Alonzo Musioka should have even called for a press conference somewhere or should have attended some event and issued some statement so that he gets out of the shadow. And that's why I began by going through his Facebook page. If you go there, you'll find him with, in bipartisan talks. One of the things I don't think will, will help him. Then you see him with Karailo Dinga in Kajado. No Kalonzo Musioka's own initiative. When was the last time you saw Kalonzo in your village? When Ruto wanted to become the president, he was all over. When Raila Dinga wanted to become the president, Raila Dinga was all over. And that's why people were able to embrace them. I know it's not yet election time, but that visibility is very, very important. Direct engagement. There are people who have doubts against uh, about Kalonzo Musioka. So if Kalonzo Musioka starts engaging them, they might change their mind. Number three, let us look at the communications strategy. You know, communication is a very powerful tool. And that's why I began by going through his Facebook page. I think Stephen Kalonzo Musioka does not have a proper communication strategy. The other day, I narrated to you guys here how if I was the one who was handling Kalonzo Musioka when he was the chief guest in Bondo, how I would have done it differently. For those who missed it, I explained that if I was the one handling that event for Kalonzo, the first thing is that I needed to impress the Luos. Luos have something they call nyade. Maybe an, an, uh, some Lugos can help me. The meaning of Nyade, is it pride? Is it pride or what? Nyade. You know, like you want to show off. So for Kalonzo Musioka to appeal to the Lugos, he must have that Nyade. Bondo provided Kalonzo with that opportunity. So Kalonzo needed to come to Bondo in style. 
land in Kisumu and make him land in um, Royal Swiss huko juu and the team then I'll convince Alonso to convince his lawyer members and his supporters and even ODM supporters and ODM leaders who accompany him to meet Royal Swiss then I'll ask him to come from the in the morning first stop Kondele address the people of Kisumu there in Kondele huge convoy then leave another address Kesian head to Bondo before heading to Raila Odinga's home Bondo town then arrive at Buru's home in style in style memorable because Kaluzo will never get such a kind of opportunity again so his communication strategy and team i don't think they are they are they are working <laughs> you can't win without a communication strategy after that event how has Kaluzo Musyoka responded to the story that Raila endorsed him the only thing i've seen Kaluzo do is to ask Kamba leaders to accompany him, which is okay. But he must have a clear communications strategy. So which means Kalonzo must come up with a team which will be able to help him in communications. Let us look at number three, resource mobilization. PESA. I can predict that 2027 election is going to be one of the most expensive elections in the Republic of Kenya. I'm saying that because William Ruto is going to be the is currently the president of the Republic of Kenya. His performance is questionable. William Ruto understands the politics of money. William Ruto is going to open his pocket and is going to buy out everybody in the Republic of Kenya. Currently, William Ruto increased tax on almost everything. But the revenue which are being collected, just the same level as before. Where do you think those money are going to? Someone is mobilizing those money for his campaigns. So which means Kanozo Musioka must be prepared to match Ruto. He must be prepared. And if you want, then he's going to face challenge. I know for sure that Uhuru Kenyatta will pump a lot of money in Kalonzo Musyoka, if Kalonzo Musyoka will be the agreed candidate. You see, this video I'm doing with the assumption that Kalonzo Musyoka is going to be the presidential candidate. I'm sure if Raila Odinga will support him, Raila Odinga is going to pump his money there. And of course, there are those businessmen who are not happy with Ruto. These guys will also pump money in that campaign. And I also know that Ukambani leaders and Ukambani tycoons will pump money in the campaign. So I don't, I don't think Kalonzo will not be able to, to generate enough money for campaigns. For that, I think we'll have. But the problem is, this is going to be one of the most expensive elections in the Republic of Kenya. Let us look at the next thing, which is strategic partnership. We'll boil down to the choice of the running mate. We'll boil down to the formation. Which community? Which begs the question? Why is Mike Sonko still outside there? Because Mike Sonko, in my view, should be a very big asset for Kalozo Musioka as we speak. If Kalozo can win the support of Mike Sonko, in Ukambani, I can assure you, 80% of his problem finished. I can see people like uh, Mutula Kilozo Jr. really frustrating Stephen Kalonzo Musioka because someone has told them he can be running mate to Kipchumba Murkomen in 2032. You can see that. Which means Kalonzo is yet to make or to create strategic partnership. Apart from Azimio, he needs to go out there. Kalonzo should reach out to strategic people and then discuss with them how they can help him make a good president. And lastly, strategy. Let us look at the strategy for Raila Odinga support base. You see, Raila Odinga 
is the enigma of Kenyan politics. He has loyal support base. For example, I'm always proud by the fact that I support Kailudinka. I never hide it, even on this channel. If you give me a ballot single, because the ballot is always one, and you give me two people, Ruto and Raila, my vote will go for Raila, for reasons which are best known. I've followed Raila Udinga since I was a young boy. So that you cannot take from me. So how can Kalonzo convince someone like me to support him? How? And we are several across the country. So I don't think Alonso has really come up with a strategy for Raila Odinga's support base. How he's going to end them. I don't know what to think, but that's my take. Until next time, Lima Queen. Bye-bye.